Ladies is only temporary. Ladies who don't stay in their lane, negative impact on society. Ladies, it is not unique. Ladies are Catholic. All right, guys, I received some feedback on a recent 60 second video that I released. I went on Instagram, went on YouTube Shorts, and it got me thinking that there's there's more here. Of course, I'm talking about Harrison Butker's controversial speech and how supposedly divisive and misogynist, hateful, inconsiderate, etc. And so then I, I took it like any other news item and I said, here's what's happening and here's what I personally think about it. And that drew quite a bit of criticism. I googled other takes on it and it seems like I'm not the only one getting heat for it. Uh, thousands of people are seriously furious about this speech. Here's my question then. Why? Why? Why do we care so much about one, this topic, and two, this specific speech of all speeches going on? I mean, it's graduation season. There's a lot of commencement speeches going on right now. And uh, uh, so, yeah, I think this is an excellent example of poor media consumption, poor analysis of information. And no, this isn't an apology video. I'm also not making a video to say that I'm right. Uh, I'm using this as a case study for what the media does and that you're not even realizing it probably most of the time. Okay, let's start with the actual speech, not what others are saying about it, but the speech itself. For the ladies present today, congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. You should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. Okay, so people are offended about that word homemaker, about him presuming that so many people want to do that instead of work a job and then especially of all places at a graduation to say that you know four years of hard work or four plus years of hard work just to end up at home where you don't really need a degree what most publications didn't include was this piece to the gentlemen here today part of what plagues our society is this lie that has been told to you that men are not necessary in the home or in our communities as men we set the tone of the culture and when that is absent, disorder, dysfunction, and chaos set in. This absence of men in the home is what plays a large role in the violence we see all around the nation. Other countries do not have nearly the same absentee father rates as we find here in the U.S., and a correlation could be made in their drastically lower violence rates as well. Okay, so the whole he singled out women uh, doesn't hold up. It does when you pick and choose what parts of the speech to show the entire world. Most of the media only showed that first part. Okay, so now we can look at reactions. Uh, this is Sally Jenkins from the Washington Post, and her headline is The Lesson of Harrison Butker. Take words seriously, not kickers. The chief specialist is entitled to the views expressed in his graduation speech, but misusing our language undermines its value. All right, first of all, to Sally's credit, she's been killing it for years as a sports journalist. Uh, sick job, dream job. Uh, she's won awards. Great. No one said that shouldn't be the case, uh, especially Butker. Now, some people simply can't have a family or a spouse or might not be in a season where that's the best for them, and that's okay. But to go on the offensive because of a speech encouraging those who can, that's a bit of an overreaction. Here's what she said. I'm sure I should be more upset about Harrison Butker, but he's just a kicker. He's not even a very influential member of his own team. Pause. Harrison Butker has three Super Bowl rings. One of those against the Philadelphia Eagles included him kicking the field goal to go ahead with 11 seconds left, meaning without a kicker, they wouldn't have won the game. Another one of his Super Bowls, the most recent one against the 49ers, included a kick that tied the game to send them into overtime 
which then led to them scoring the go-ahead touchdown. Influential member? I think so. He deserves a merely proportional response. The best reply to Butker is to make fun of him. Kickers hate that. Turn his name into a verb. When you butker something, it means to botch an intellectual argument with clumsy hyperbole to the point of obnoxiousness. To get buttered means to be preached to by a dude with a zealot's beard that looks like it was combed with a harrow. Okay, first of all, uh, you know, I disagree with that. I think his beard looks sick. Kind of jealous. Um, and then she is just going on and on about how not hard it is to be an NFL kicker, to be a football kicker in general. And uh, my question to that is, really? Really, it's not that hard. Is it really not that hard to be a kicker? Well, let's let's check it out. All right. How hard is it really to kick a field goal, according to News Center in May? NFL uprights are 18.5 feet apart. We can use that as one side of a right triangle. The other side of the triangle is the distance from the goalpost to the spot of the kick. We'll convert from yards to feet because frankly no one uses yards in math and we want all the units to be the same. An attempt from 20 yards means we have 60 feet as one side and two divided 9 and 1 quarter foot lengths on each side of the center line of the uprights. From that we can calculate the angle of error to be a maximum of 8.76 degrees. Okay, so this includes some geometry just in the calculation of it. And then there's other factors to it, like wind. Um, how about, you know, tens of thousands of people cheering and making noise and looking at you. Everyone's looking at you, so there's some pressure there. Oh, and not to mention 11 superhuman men facing you, running at you at top speed. And uh, you're supposed to get it over to them and then through that window. Not hard. and good use of your body. We want to get our plant foot pretty much as tight as we can here. So I got my arm in front of me right here. This arm's going to be in sync with my leg. Left arm comes back, right leg kicks back, through. Okay, so there's a certain way your whole body is supposed to move with the arm and the leg, and then it's very precise where you kick on your foot. You don't want to kick with the toe or just too wide a part of the foot, but a specific part and what the follow-through looks like, and then power... And then factoring in the wind and the elements like rain, you might be playing on turf or you might be playing on grass. Oh, and you got to make sure not to kick off the hand of the guy who's holding it. I mean, the window time is like uh, 1.3 seconds, I think is what they say. Okay, three steps back, two steps over, 70% weight on front foot, 30% weight on back. How do, I, how do you calculate 70% of weight 30? I could probably do 50-50. Proud chest. Okay, I can do that. Strong approach. I don't know about that. Back swing parallel with your arm. Okay. We're going to be at about 80% speed. 80% speed. Good healthy finish. Eyes on the ball. Okay, not to mention that a kicker's career goes like 15 years. And so every year during the draft, probably only one or two teams actually draft a kicker. Out of the hundreds of colleges that have kickers and capable ones that are good. So to end up on a team... And to win three Super Bowls with them, oh, it's not that hard, Sally. Hmm. I've realized what my calling in life is. I want to be a kicker, and I challenge Sally Jenkins to a kickoff. A kickoff. A field goal off, if she ever sees this video. And uh, whoever loses has to quit their job and become a homemaker. Okay, to balance the scales a bit, here's a wholesome reaction from Chiefs coach Andy Reid. Some of these women just on staff here and in the building give... I mean, his comments kind of touched on wanting to work for us. I mean, what do you tell them if they come to you with a concern about players speaking ill of, you know, women in general? Yeah, that hasn't happened. I, I don't think he was speaking uh, ill to women, but he has his opinions, and we all respect that. Um, I, I let you guys in this room, and you have a lot of opinions that I don't like. So. All right, finally, some wisdom in the thick of all of it. Uh, yes, you can totally disagree. That's fine. 
that's encouraged even. But when you take a disagreement and use it as means to ruin someone's career, like literally there's a change.com petition to say, make sure he gets kicked off the Chiefs. Uh, that's just, it's irrational. It's crazy. Okay, now let's get to the heart of it all. Why do you care? And more importantly, maybe, why did you see it? There were other many notable graduation speeches this year, and definitely some not so notable graduation speeches. But Jerry Seinfeld spoke at Duke. Go of this idea that you have to find this one great thing that is my passion, my great passion, with your shirt torn open and your heaving pec muscles, it's embarrassing. Just be willing to do your work as hard as you can with the ability you have. We don't need the heavy breathing and the outstretched arm from your passion. It makes coworkers uncomfortable in the cubicle next to you. It was good and lighthearted, didn't have a ton of like rich substance to it, but it was fun. And then he nailed it on the head when he told students, forget passion, find something you're good at and can work hard at. I mean, that's solid advice from someone who's been successful. Did that reach the headlines? No. Pro-Palestinian protesters against Jerry Seinfeld showed up in the headlines. Dozens of students and attendees walked out in the middle of the commencement ceremony just as guest speaker Jerry Seinfeld was delivering his address. Seinfeld has been vocally supportive of Israel and visited the country following the October 7th attack. Despite the protest, the comedian eventually was able to deliver his speech uninterrupted. Or let's take a look at the Kansas City Chiefs, whom Butker plays for. Plenty of controversy there. You know, Rasheed Rice driving 119 miles and committing a, a hit and run. But that's going to be more on page six or seven of the sports section. And Harrison Butker's demeaning of women is definitely much more concerning. Okay, so look. I'm not asking you guys to agree with me about the validity of Butker's speech. I'm not asking you to agree with me that people are overreacting. I'm simply asking that you stop and just ask questions. Stop and think, why is this an issue? Why, why is it ruffling feathers? And, and then why do I know about this? What else do I not know? Is there more context? These are questions we should be asking when we see a headline that gets a, a very like extreme visceral reaction out of us, uh, we should be challenging that and slowing down and not just reacting to everything. And so that's all I'm asking you guys to do. Slow down and ask more. And you'll find that there is more, as was the case in this situation. Might not change your mind, but also might stop you from making a poor decision. Hey, I'm Caleb Bailey. I'm a reporter with World Watch News, and we are a daily educational news program for students. Our team tackles current events and human interest stories all in one, while hopefully not leaving you stressed out. Along with these videos on YouTube, we have a full 10-minute show. And if you go to worldwatch.news forward slash YouTube24 and use the code YouTube24, that's all caps, YouTube24, you'll get the first month for free. So, if you like what we're doing here, try out our full news program. 10 minutes, 5 days a week. Just use the link in the code and we'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.